Hello, my name is Paul Gabriel, and my guest this evening is the British High Commissioner to Malaysia, William Boyd McCleary. Welcome to Manana Star. Nice to be here. It's always a delight to see you in good health and good cheer. Thank you. <laughs> and, I know, and welcome to Manana Star. And uh, I know you're not a football fan, so we won't have any football questions for you about the football. Oh, I'm football happy to take football and, questions. And, and England. But you've had a good four years in Malaysia. And uh, what's going through your mind now as you prepare to board that jet plane back home? Very mixed feelings. Uh, I said to someone recently, there's, a, there's an expression in German. I, I, I studied German a long time ago. And there's a, a nice expression in German uh, about doing something with one weeping and one laughing eye. Well, I'm laughing because I'm off to somewhere nice. I'm uh, going to be posted to the Caribbean, where I'll be working in the British Virgin Islands as governor. But I'd be very sad to leave Malaysia. We've had four fantastic years here, uh, four years when we've seen the whole country met a uh, massive range of uh, Malaysians, mm -hmm. uh, and we've loved it, absolutely loved it. There have been several developments on your watch. What would you pick as the highlight during your tenure here? I suppose one of the highlights must be uh, uh, the year when Malaysia celebrated its 50th anniversary. Uh, I think that was a, a highlight for the country. And it was uh, not just a celebration for Malaysia, but also for the UK. Uh, as the former colonial power, we had a, a special role to play. Um, one of the uh, sons of Queen Elizabeth came out to represent the Queen on that occasion, Prince Andrew. And um, uh, what we saw then was that Britain is still held in a very high regard uh, by Malaysians of, of, of all uh, professions and backgrounds. I was particularly struck by the pride of place given to the British veterans in the parade that day. Uh, whilst we are right to look forward, um, and we did decide that uh, the 50th anniversary should be about looking forward, it's also right to look back and remember the sacrifice that was made by many uh, British, Australian, and other Commonwealth uh, soldiers and civilians at that uh, formative time in Malaysia's uh, history. I remember in 2008, we had to keep our fingers crossed because uh, Britain was planning a visa regime review, and uh, you played an outstanding role to bridge the gap between both nations at that time. And uh, did you actually fear the worst looking back? I think there was always a risk uh, that a visa regime would have been introduced. It wasn't what we wanted. It's certainly not what I wanted to do. Uh, but uh, it was a very serious uh, review of our policy towards uh, Malaysia because there were serious instances of breach. Uh, we were seeing Malaysians enter the, entering the country illegally, uh, overstaying uh, their visas, uh, and in quite large numbers. Uh, Malaysia had gone up to the top of our uh, warning list, our alert systems, and so we had to look very seriously as to whether we should introduce a visa regime uh, because uh, visa-free access to the UK is a privilege, and that privilege was being abused. Uh, so we, we did a, 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 not just a review of our policy, but we engaged with the Malaysian government, uh, the Malaysian authorities both here and in the UK, and the result was uh, very, very positive. We had a constructive dialogue. Uh, we discussed ways in which we could do things better. Uh, we discussed messaging to the Malaysian, uh, Malaysians who are living in the UK and abusing the system, and those messages were just as loud, just as clear from the Malaysian side as they were from the British side. And as a result of that, and as a result of very high-level engagement by ministers here, uh, we were able to avoid what I, what I think would have been uh, a disappointment. But there are those who still think that it's only a matter of time before we come under the visa regime. I mean, are those feelings well-founded? Uh, well, I mean, as any country, we, we continue to keep the, the matter under review. At the moment, uh, we have no intention, no plans to introduce a visa regi regime for Malaysians. Uh, but we can't rule out the possibility. And if there's further abuse in future, of course, we'll, we'll have to uh, reconsider. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask you before you leave, are there any factors still stacked up against us in this, uh, on, in this visa review? Well, I mean, Malaysians haven't stopped overstaying. Um, uh, Malaysians haven't stopped being turned away at our ports because we think they're entering uh, with improper intent. Uh, but the numbers are lower than they were before. And the um, intent on the part of the Malaysian government is very clear to work with us to avoid uh, a situation where we need to impose a regime. So I would say, uh, on balance, we're in a much better position than we were two, three years ago. Statistics show that about 100,000 Malaysians visit the UK, 87,000 of them short-term visitors. What is your message to the average Malaysian holidaymaker having the UK in his or her mind? We're delighted to see you. I mean, we, we love having Malaysians come uh, to visit the UK. We love them to come to, uh, to shop 
to spend their money in, in, <laughs> in, in British stores, uh, travel the British countryside. They're fantastic tourists, and, and we, we're very pleased to have them. We love to have Malaysians come and bring their children to school in the UK, to university in the UK. We have an open society. Uh, we have a warm welcome for Malaysians who are old friends. And uh, you know, most of Malaysians who have come to the UK have never had any intention of abusing the system. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only a small minority who do that who have brought the, the country into some disrepute. Uh, but I think um, uh, we, we continue to say that we want Malaysia's uh, people to come and visit Britain, Malaysia's uh, brightest and best young people to come and study in Britain. And uh, so we have uh, an open door, but a door which could close if uh, there was further abuse.